going on family welcome to p2r films p2r tv nolan notorious whatever today i'm gonna discuss some questions that i've been getting in my dms about the ballet boys i got some about them not not a whole lot but enough people asked about the ballet boys and i'll tell you what i know whatever you know whatever not only that i gotta talk about the nine because see on the last video i don't want to throw nobody underneath the bus but my little ones over here <laughs> It was edited and everything about downtown was like out of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They say the energy was low. They say my energy got low. I was on, looked like I was on a while and I decided I got tired or whatever. So it wasn't, that's their excuse, you know. But, you know, they young. They ain't with that uptown, downtown stuff, but they live uptown. You know, I don't know. But we gonna talk about that nine, music people out that nine and other stuff, man. So, Appreciate y'all watching. Like, subscribe, share. Soon you get on, hit the like button. They telling me to tell y'all to hit the like button. You know, whatever. Ballet boys. Let's get right to it. Here's the thing about me knowing anything about the ballet boys. I can't take it nothing about what they did, what's going on, because I was never a ballet boy. But when I first heard of the ballet boys, a lot of people asked me about the East. When I first heard of them, they went out these. It was out the seven ward or the six ward in that area, whatever. I think with the bell or something like that. How I know, because a cat used to be my role manager back in the days. We ran back with whatever. I asked him to come on. Now I'm going to throw him underneath the bus. I asked him to come on, talk about the history of the ballet boys, because I remember something he told me way back. Because, you know, when it, when it came up, he brought it up. He was like, man, I'm an original ballet boy. You know what I'm saying? But he don't want to come on. I understand that. We'll talk about that later. Some people don't want to rehash stuff because they had some real serious beefs. It wasn't no walking around with ballets. Just that. You know what I'm saying? But what I remember him telling me back then was, and he not from the East. He from out the 6th or the 7th. I got to ask him what actual ward he from because when I, you know, whatever. But he said it was just him and his friends going to school and they all used to wear ballets. And females started calling them the ballet boys. Now, that's how he said it got started. Now, then he told me, he said, later on, years later, when I brought it up again to him, because I asked him to come on here, he would say, yeah, they had some ballet boys in the East too. But he said some other stuff and whatever. Now, what I know, not too much, but it used to be serious beefs. If I'm not mistaken, from what I get, the ballet boys used to be beefing with a lot of people. Little Woods, East Show was one of them. Now, this how I asked about it. You know, one time I was catching a bus. Now, see, I don't want to get the timelines mixed up, but I was like 15. I don't know if I was going by this girl named Keisha House. Oh, Vice, I don't know, but I know I caught like, you catch the broad to the St. Bernard Parish or to Canal Street to the St. Bernard Parish and bring you the bullet or whatever. But I was like 14 or 15 and it was, I was it was at nighttime, you know, I used to roam like that. And a guy I'm gonna talk about later, he from out the Cali, yo, um, he old the cat, a lot of people asked me about him and his crew. I'm gonna do that later on in 2020. Cause I might get some of his people that was with that crew to come on. But he used to, you know, the little ones, he used to supply us with some things. You know what I'm saying? I had a what, 32, you know them little small 32s. Have y'all ever seen that? And I used to always wear a jacket. It was cold and I keep it in here. I keep it in here. I'm, I'm saying this for a reason. I keep it in here. So when I was young, I used to travel like that. And you know what? I talk about stuff like this. Let me say this before I cut it up, before I go into it, because it happens. You know what I'm saying? Am I proud of it? No. But I'm going. If I'm not, it, it probably was Wales or Linden. That's my phone. Probably was Wales or Linden. So I'm on my way to the house. A tall dude. Tall dude walk up. Now I could talk about this because later on in life, and I'm going to talk about that later on in life. I ended up back in East Shore. My dude was staying out there and he used to, can I say this right now? I wonder if I should say this. He used to sell weed out there. We'll get to that later. 
a tall dude coming, right? And here I am, 14, 15. This dude looked like he would ever been a 19, 20, right? He walks up, he said, he gets, he said, man, what you doing walking down the street? So he show. I looked around like, what's wrong with this dude? My hand stuck, always stood in my coat, right? Like this, like I got it like this. What you doing walking down the street? So he show. I'm looking like, I just looked at him like, like, what's wrong with you, man? He said, man, what you doing walking down the street? Then he was coming close. Right when he coming close, I didn't cock it back. He ain't even here. He just had his hands. And when he got close, he looked at me. He said, man, I thought you was, I, I don't want to say the wrong name. He said, man, I thought you was from the Valley Boys. Man, I was wondering, what you doing walking down this street, man? What you doing? He was like, basically, he was saying, he said, man, you look just like him. I don't want to say the wrong name. I think it was Craig or Kirk or something like that. He said, man, you look just like him. He said, man, I thought you was something. And, you know, right then, I'm like, he said, man, I started to kill you out here, man. Something like that. Well, bro, you know how they talk back, how we was talking back then. Man, I started to kill you out here. I said, kill me with what? He said, with these hands. And I just laughed and walked off, you know. Now, later on in life, my partner, I don't know if y'all remember him, um, he not from East Shore, but he was living on East Shore. Me and him was tight, slim. He had whatever going on. A lot of No Limit rappers used to come because he had whatever, he called it the Christmas and stuff like that. For those who in East Shore remember that back then, y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, he used to be around that same dude. And I finally brought it up to him. Now, we talking like, at that time I was 14, we talking like eight years later, I'm 20, 21, going holler, going holler at my people that was living on there with um, God damn it, how can I think of this dude now? I hope he ain't watching. He'd be like, man, smoking for y'all. Whatever. They was living on there with them. Whoever watching, y'all remember y'all put in the comments. And I brought it up to him. He said, yeah. And I said, yeah. But I, ain't. I finally told him. I said, man, I had something in my, in my coat man it, it, if you would have took another step we was joking about it so i could talk about it so then and there i knew little was i mean he show if you call little was he show and valley boys had something going another time i'm on the bus young again see y'all have to realize something a lot of these dudes when all this was at its height this is dudes that's like four five years older than me on all this stuff you understand so right now these cats should be like 50. we talking about from from uptown to downtown when you when you ask about these cats i'm not 50. you understand these cats should be like 50. you're 49 right now we talking about all of them at its height we talking about in it's talk about the east we talking about the miss you we talking about the jungle, we talking about the ballet boys, we talking about the ballet boys in the east and out the east. They older than that to me, um, East Show around this time. Now, I knew some cats out of East Show, but one time, another. Beef. So yeah, they used to be some serious beef like they have now, you know what I'm saying? So all I know about that, I'm just being honest with you. I mean, it's a lot of cats. And then it's a lot of cats from the East asking me about that. Now the thing that got me is, a lot of them dudes still alive. So y'all pretty much know them cats and they pretty much can tell you about how it was if you really want to know about that. Now, another question that was asked that night was, a lot of people said, man, you don't talk about the nine, you don't talk about the nine. I have with um club rumors, but that night war, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. A lot of people, for the music industry, they look at Uptown Magnolia because of Baby, No Limit, and all that. But that nine had some spitters, man. Mr. Magic, to me, Mr. Magic was the. When I say this, the man don't like this. I think Mr. Magic was rest in peace was the coolest spitter in New Orleans. Not only that, for his Orleans Parish. I think the first person went nationwide come out the night war. How many of y'all ever heard of Big Mike? Big Mike was signed to Rap-A-Lot Records with Jay Prince. We talking about this had to have been the A's. 
um, with Scarface. You know, I, I think Willie D dropped out. That's how he got in the group. But Willie D quit. Scarface and Bushwick Bill and Willie D. It's a lot of ghetto boys. Ready Red, Big Mike, if I'm not mistaken, was out at the out the Florida or the Desire. Um, uh, if I can remember, it was the Florida Project. Nightwall have some spitters, man. Nightwall always had spitters, man. Um, Tombstone Records. Rest in peace. If he wouldn't have got killed, he was definitely going nationwide. That dude had a squad, man. He had cheeky black. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Let me get that out, y'all. Let me get that out to the most. From the Nightwall, I give a fuck about your bitch. Let me get that out, y'all. Let me get that out to the most. From the Nightwall, I give a fuck about your bitch. Let me get that out, y'all. Let me get that out to the most. From the Nightwall, I give a fuck about your bitch. Everybody know who Cheeky Black is for Louisiana and that other places. He had low key, short cat. I think what happened to him, he went to jail, prison. But that dude was tight. And he had L O G. <laughs> Y'all be having G's. We be having soldiers. He had other ones too. I don't I can't I don't wanna mistake it. I don't know if the dude from Press Park um started hitting hustles when I was just twelve, feel I feel. Started hitting hustles when I was just loud. Then I grabbed me a Mac, I say me for a piece of still out. Killing motherfuckers, don't ask my witness. A young juvenile going out like a menace. Chilling on a set, I see a big dope dealer. In the verges in my head saying, get out that nigga. I don't know if I feel I feel was with him. I don't know who, I don't know, I'm not sure. But Tombstone Records, man, the Night Wall, bro. The Night Wall, man, they probably would have been next up. Especially Tombstone Records, then you had High Power with Lady Red. Yeah, 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 I keep on giving that smoke at a time. Yeah, 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 I keep on giving that, 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 giving And we could take it back to the East. Everybody keeps sleeping on the East, but the East had a record label too that was popping. Um, Rough Ever Records. Rough Ever Records, man. Rough Ever Records had Crazy. Crazy later on signed with No Limit. Crazy could spit too, bro. And a lot of people thought the man was trying to sound like Pop. Man wasn't trying to sound like Pop. That was that man's voice. And he had lyrics. He could spit, man. He could spit. Crazy could spit. Um, Face Forever. Matter of fact, before I, that's why Master P picked them up. Face Forever. Um, ja Kane from Face Forever. That dude there, bro. That pen was a beast. Who else? Who else they had, bro? Who else? Who else they had? I wanna I wanna say Dolomite was was with them, huh? Dolomite, here we come. Red rum. If y'all saw that club that club detour video. That background music right there, Dolomite. If I'm not mistaken, Dolomite was with them, man. Gia, 1995. Gia, Gia. Check it out. Here we come. Matter of fact, bro, I used to think somebody else owned Ruffer Records, the CEO. Because every time I used to go up there, I used to be up there. I went up there a few times to holler at someone. Now, that's my people. But he used to always be sitting when you went in there, the front office was was right there. You open up, I think it was a glass door or a wooden door, I can't remember. It's an office right there. He used to be sitting there, I sit over there, we are running. I thought he owned it. I'll never forget Miles in Houston at a radio station with another record label uh, and um the dude said brought up i think it was a female a publicist brought up rough ever records saying 
I don't know if they mentioned crazy. I don't know if they mentioned face forever. I can't remember. And I was like, yeah, man, I'm a people on that, man. I told her the name. And she was saying, nah, he don't own that. I said, yeah, he own that. He said, no, you talking about the boxer. He don't own that. Then he told me. He told me, you know what I'm saying? Dude named Henry Glover. I was like, what? All this time I'm thinking. Now, he didn't tell me that, but I just, I thought that. Because every time I went up there, he'll be sitting at the desk and we'll run it. Or he'll tell me, meet him there when we, whatever, talk, whatever. But yeah, man, the night boy had some spitters. And I'm going to say this, man. A lot of people is from that now, from that east. I'm going to leave it like that. Lived a long time in that east. And if they not from it, because you don't know people past, they've been there long enough to mention it. You feel me? But they don't. That's just what it is. 